Do I ever see myself on any team? Yeah, that was always my plan. Like my my goal was always to go uh, in server. In server. My goal was always to go into pro league. One more white stairs maybe. I hear something. That... Yeah, white stairs. Is that a trap? Top white. My goal was always to go to name. Salaries are bigger, taxes are lower. My girlfriend lives there. She's from America. And I've had any offers every season as well. It's just never the time. Like NA was never good enough as a region for me to join it. The salaries are higher, but I didn't want to have a higher salary and like lose in pro league, right? But now that NA is good enough, I definitely am interested to go there. Uh, wrapping office side in the future. I have a multi-year contract with G2, so I'm not going to go NA anytime soon. My buyout's like super high. Uh, I, were in con I was in contact with multiple NA orcs last season after Invitationals, but nothing came through. Then I re-signed with T2 for, for the move to Berlin. I'll probably go in a possibly in some years from now, but we don't know what happens. Maybe we bring back the fire and we like start fucking gunning again. Maybe I end up loving it here, which I already do, but maybe I keep loving it here. Um, Maybe I hate it here. Maybe, maybe I get kicked. Like so much can happen. We don't know. What's my salary in G2? I can't tell you that. I don't think. All I can say is that it's not abnormal if you're a tier 1 pro league org and tier 1 pro league team to make about between 4 and 5k, like plus. Depending on like currency, where you live. The issue is taxes because like in Germany, like the tax is like 43%. Like within that tax bracket. So like you're paying, you're, let's say you make 5k a month. Well, half of that basically goes to fucking taxes and social contributions. So you only make 2.5k, so... In NA, you pay like 18, 20, depending on fucking tax, obviously, but you pay far less tax than most American uh, states. So tax here is high. I, I pay max tax because of Twitch income, YouTube income, etc. So I pay 45% on every single dollar that I make. I pay 45% tax in social contributions. Five seconds to go. And I don't get any benefits, really, because I'm not sick and I don't study, but it is what it is. Taxes, they are there in life, and that is how life is. Hopefully, I can make someone else's life better by paying those taxes. That would be nice if I could. Somebody said, since I'm a well-known figure in Siege, can I talk to the devs? Well, I, I can talk to the devs. It doesn't work that way. Um, I did make a video called Everything Wrong with Siege. Almost has half a million views, which is very exciting. Basically talking about the issues with the game, how I see it, hashtag save Siege, all that stuff. And uh, it got a lot of good feedback. So there is that video out there. The devs have seen it to my knowledge because they've changed a lot of the stuff that I mentioned in that post and it brought a lot of attention to the topics at hand. Security but I can talk to devs. Like, that's not how it works. Devs give less of shit about me than most people because I actually criticize them. And in my experience, Ubisoft devs have always been kind of uh, emotional in the sense that they really don't like criticism. Just like they don't like being like active on Twitter and like putting their face out there with like death blocks and stuff they're all like hiding pretty much which I, I don't blame them like if they want to do that they can i'm just saying that they don't really respond very well to negative feedback in my opinion and they're humans people make mistakes and people have preferences but when the game is this bad you gotta admit it you know what i mean you gotta live up to it and i hope it gets better like i want the game to succeed like i have the most to lose if anything like me the devs other youtubers streamers pro players like we have the most to lose it's our job so I care. I care a lot about the game. Ow. Russian Badger. Is Lucy even good, my Listen. Listen, Russian Badger. Imagine you wanna have fun. You know? You wanna get the old YouTube content. Hashtag YouTube content. And you run it in, you get a kill, you get a second kill, right? Oh, you jump in the window. Oh, me Lucy trap, right? You can't play the game anymore. Your content flies away. All your subscribers unsubscribe. And you become Mr. Homeless for real. You know? Every one of your friends quits playing the game. So you gotta be like, yo, Mr. Homeless. Can you can you pick up all five accounts and play with me on your accounts? Because I have no friends anymore. Mr. Homeless be like, yeah, I got you, homie. And then you basically just play with yourself nowadays. Because everyone else quit the game. Because Melusi is that oppressive. So yeah, she's pretty strong, man. She's pretty strong. <laughs> no, my game is bugged. What? what is this game? You got the scope thing? Yeah, and I... 
I'm jumping between cameras and everything. I can do anything. Okay, what? Guide me. I, 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 so I place this on cameras, please. Where should I go? Uh, let me see where you are. Okay, you all right, all right. Put your yeah, put your mouse in one position so you don't like look around. All right, go to your right. Yeah, forward. And left. And forward. And left. <laughs> A little bit forward and left. A little bit forward. Oh, uh, forward. Double, yeah, left. Yeah, keep going, keep going. And then backwards. Left. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Left, left, left. And then if you're 180. Oh, a little bit to the right. A little bit to the right. Look down. A little bit down. Yeah. Little bit down. Yeah. Leeson trap. All right, you have successfully leeson trap the window on your bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, go again. Good job. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We have successfully leeson trapped the flank. <laughs> Look at that charm. It's looking kind of nice in this light. Ooh. I'm actually really happy with the charm. Not gonna lie. The first prototype I got, I was like, oh no, this looks terrible. But then they, then they, I DM'd Ubisoft, like my contact. And I was like, sir, I don't think you read my email about the charm. Because it doesn't look like the way I described it. And he was like, one moment. He was like, you know what? And they admitted that they didn't see my email. And they changed it in one day. In one day. They did a, like, best custom support I've ever had. In one day and they changed it. And they admitted their mistake. They were like, sorry, we didn't see your email. We thought you wanted what we sent. We apologize. We'll make it, like, we'll change it. Amazing. 10 out of 10. Do I hate Siege now? No, hate is a very big word. Again, you don't just hate things, right? Like, Siege is my job. The way that I view this game is not like... Let's say you're 16, 17, average, great in school. You wake up in the morning... And you have certain things you have to do, like school, work, studies, try and work on your grades, stay cool in school, work on your friendships, like maybe a girlfriend, whatever the case might be. Life is simple. In your spare time, you do things that you enjoy. Like, oh, you really like Minecraft, so you play Minecraft. You don't have to, but you want to. That's your choice. You can choose between any game in the world, you pick Minecraft, right? My life is I wake up and I got to worry about how good I play every single day, every moment, every second. And I have to play Siege. I can look at all the fun games available, but if my performance suck, I cannot give oh, myself the allowance to play a fun game. Let's say Cyberpunk came out, but I'm doing really bad in Pro League. I'm bottom fracking, I'm not getting my clutches in, like my drilling sucks, whatever the case might be. I cannot play Cyberpunk because I need to work on my career. What I do for fun and what I do for work is intertwined, right? It's entangled. If I'm doing really good, I can maybe give myself some slack and be like, okay, you've played really good. You've been working hard. You can play, yeah, World of Warcraft all weekend, maybe. But generally speaking, I don't get to pick fun. I get to pick work, right? And if the game sucks, my job sucks, but I can't change it, right? But if the game is great, my job is great. And that's why you really gotta love your job, in this case specifically, because you can't quit. You quit, you retire. That's it. Your, your career's over. So you gotta love what you do, because sometimes there's a bad patch, there's a bad day that's like... Bad meta game, you know those are real issues. Americans are fucking idiots. Like they have like beach parties and all the like all this stupid shit while Corona is happening, and now they're like the mo like one of the most infected countries in the world. It's like, come on, guys, why can't you stay indoors? Why why do we need to be punished because you're an idiot? Like Riley can't travel to Berlin to start her life because people in America are a bunch of fucking idiots. You know what I mean? Everyone's fucking each other here. Now that people are fucking bro protesting, you know what that protest is gonna do? It's gonna spread corona so fucking much, there's gonna be no fucking people left to protest about. Because you're all fucking sick. In the hospital. You know what I mean? Stay inside! Play your fucking video games! And only go out if necessary, and wear a fucking mask, man. When I go outside, I see all these fucking German people having fucking lunches in their gardens with 20 people hosting parties on Saturdays. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, it's not just America. It's like the world. Like, just fucking stay indoors. The, the, the faster you all stay inside, the faster the fucking thing will be over with. It's that simple. The more you go out, the worse it'll get. Only go out if you have to. If you really want sunlight, open a fucking window. It should be that easy. 
I don't go outside unless it's for the grocery store. And when I go, I'm fucking suited and booted up. I wash my hands, I go, I come back, I fucking wash my hands, take a shower. Life is good. Should be that simple, dude. Thank you, Federal. And that's in every fucking country. People are like, oh, I have waited a month. I am sick of being indoors. So I'm gonna go outside and put the world at risk. Woo! If anything, it's natural selection, dude. All the idiots will get sick. I don't want them to, but they probably will. Wash my hands now? Yeah. I don't know. I just wish people could fucking follow the fucking rules for once. Not that hard. 